Hi, it's Luke here once again for the M5 Stack official channel. Today we'll be looking at a feature that a lot of you have been requesting for a while, and that is using Bluetooth on M5 Stack devices with UI Flow firmware. Well, we know it's possible with Arduino and also with MicroPython firmware, and I'll be doing a video separately in the future on using it in pure MicroPython firmware. But for now, only the fire is possible with UIFlow firmware. This is likely due to now the UIFlow has a lot of features and so it's filling up a lot of the flash partition. And so the fire has a larger flash partition than the other devices, hence why it's available on this device. So what we want to do really is to create a Bluetooth connection between our mobile device and the M5 stack fire, and then some, send some data across. So what we're going to be doing to do this is to create a app in MIT App Inventor, which will allow us to easily connect to the Bluetooth and then display some data on the screen. So let's get started. You may have noticed in the beta version, if we choose M5 Stack Fire, and then we go into Advanced, there are these BLE UART blocks. So, something that you may notice though, once we try and execute any of these blocks, we will get an error on the device which says no module named Bluetooth. Unfortunately, since version 1.6.2, this error has been happening. The team are aware of it and are working on this issue, so I expect a fix in version 1.6.6. .6. But in order to follow this video, what we're going to need to do is to install version 1.6.2 firmware on the device. Now unfortunately this is not available in the M5 burner anymore so we're going to have to do a little bit of a roundabout way. If you go to the github page that I've linked in this video you'll be able to find that firmware so download that first and then we're going to show you how you can download the firmware bin file. Now once we've downloaded that firmware file I find the easiest way to burn a firmware file to the device is by using Tony's inbuilt firmware burner. So first we go to run select interpreter, then make sure we have the port of our M5 stack fire device. Now we can click here, choose our port again, and then browse for that file. This might not always work straight away, so often you might need to open up the console, start a screen session, and then just kill any commands, and then uh, use control A, and then forward slash to close the session. And we can see there, it's already burning the file. Okay, now that's burnt. We can also download the Bluetooth IMU Python file from the GitHub and then I'll open that up into Moo and run this. This is just a simple program to transmit the IMU values of a UART serial. Once we've flashed this code onto the device, now we can download a Bluetooth scanner such as this that I'm using, BLE scanner. There's various different BLE scanning programs out there on the App Store for both Android and iOS, but they mostly look the same. And once we go in there, I've already connected, but if I just skip out here, I can see there ESP32 device. And then I can see the name that I gave it. And then if I click here, I can see, I can see the values from the accelerometer being printed there. Well, this is great. This is um, progress, 
but it would be nice to present this data in a nice clean app where we can see the data clearly and we can also add buttons and text fields for sending data to the M5 stack from the app. So let's look at how we can get started doing that in MIT App Inventor. So here we are in MIT App Inventor. We're going to create a new project. I've already started a new project and I've called it Bluetooth App. And first we want to have a nice layout. So I'll go and drag the horizontal arrangement over here. And then I'll start to add some buttons because we're going to need a bunch of buttons for scanning, for connecting to our Bluetooth device. So I'll place four buttons in there and then I'll change their names to so you have here the button name this will appear in the blocks so I'll just give it a descriptive name but the text which will go on the button is changed here okay and then go through them one by one you can have one for stopping the scan and then this button I will make for connecting to our chosen Bluetooth device and lastly we'll have one for disconnecting in case we have multiple M5 stack devices that we want to connect to And that's it done for the buttons for now. I'm going to add some labels now so that we can get some feedback about what's happening. Um, I'm going to need a label uh, to show the current status. So I'll call this label status and then set its text to status. And then I want a list view as well. So I'll pop that under there. And then I'm going to call this BLE list for all the BLE devices that are going to show up. Next, so we could have installed this at the start or after, but we need a specific extension. Um, which you can download from the MIT site for BLE. So I go to import, it's in, uh, import extension. I'll also post that extension file on the GitHub page for this video. And there it is. Import and now if we go back into, now it appears here. Now we can have Bluetooth LE. So we just drag that across there, pop that in there. It's not a visible item. Just allows us now to have the blocks with the functionality of BLE connection and so on. We can add some more labels for the data from our sensors. Pop these down here. Um, I think I'll call this one device name so we know our specific device is connected okay I'll, and I can come back and edit these later first what I want to do is go into the blocks and we're going to create the connection part of our program so first off we'll need some buttons so we'll go down here to scan button yeah okay so when that's pressed on the phone we want to start the scanning which is somewhere in the middle here there we go start scanning and then next we will go to change the label so we know that what is happening is it's scanning right now the status label and then I want to change the text and make it say 
scanning. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we can see the list with all our devices in. So um, go down to this list picker. And make sure that it is visible. Okay, now we can go on to our next button because from this list we can now uh, select the devices. Okay, and then we want to stop the scan and then we will use the stop scanning button. And a status message to go along with it. So now if we have connected to a device or the devices are found, so when uh, device found, and then choose our list. Yep. We want all of those devices to appear in our list. And we do that by selecting device list here and then popping that in there. When we click the connect button, so connect button, then we can connect to our chosen device. And then we need the Bluetooth call connection, uh, the call Bluetooth connect index, followed by the index selection course we want to update the label to show that we are trying to connect to our chosen device and then finally when connected then we'll change that label again to show that we've successfully connected and we don't need that list picker anymore so we'll set that to false make sure it's out of the way so that we can then see the data that we're going to send to the app and then in case we do want to connect disconnect sorry uh, we can put this here and choose the call disconnect and then when disconnected of course we'll update the label also to show that we have disconnected from the device Okay, so that's our connection part. Now as a simple test, we'll add these labels to the connected section. And we want to set them to show um, the device name and also the RSSI or the signal strength of the Bluetooth device connected. And that'll be a good test. I'm uh, still learning about this App Inventor and how to connect it with a Bluetooth device. So in the next video in this series, we'll be showing more in depth of the Bluetooth serial reading. Now you can load this app up in the App Inventor companion on your Android phone. I just wanted to show that it's very simple also to make a simple test program in UI Flow. Literally all we need to do is to add this init BLE UART name, add a name for our Bluetooth device, and then as a precursor to the Bluetooth serial that we'll be reading in the next video, we can also add this label with BLE UART read all. And let's give it a test. We see here now if we press scan in the app, it scans all the local devices. There's the device that I named over here. I can stop the scan and then connect. You can see connected. And then right below we have both the device name and the signal strength. And that's about all we have time for in today's video. If you have any questions about the video, make sure to leave them down in the comments. If you have any ideas of other applications we could use for this project, make sure to leave them there also. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you check out our forums 
and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.